All right, welcome back to episode five. We've got the 16 millimeter F 2.8. Doing a little photo walk. Hope you enjoy the journey. Hope it's not too shaky because I am carrying a bag in one hand. I don't have an ND filter, but we're gonna make it work. We can go into the evening time with this lens as well. So far, I'm quite comfortable. It's not a big lens and it's a prime lens, which makes it great to film with. Whoop. It's quite a tight city, mate, very tight. And yeah, aim of the game, take photos, get some beautiful video, take you along the journey, express my thoughts as we're going along. So, let's carry on. So far, I'm liking the quality. The quality is pretty damn good. And just FYI, I'm in central London right now, walking through Tottenham Court Road, and I'm gonna go to Clerkenwell to pick up Chloe. We will check in around sunset time where I can probably, properly use the F2.8 and see how the low light handles because living in the UK, it gets dark very quickly, majority of the time in the year. I mean, some of this will be absolutely fine, but I'm wondering, will this really be the all-in-one solution for taking photos, doing video, having a bit of that low light situation? So we're gonna, I'm gonna walk there. It's probably gonna take me about half an hour to walk all the way there, Tottenham Court Road. I'll be taking photos and some of the photos you see will pop up on the screen in the reflection time. Ciao. So this whole video, including this talking headshot, is used with the 16mm 2.8, the whole thing. So you guys that are looking for every single situation, you've got it. In terms of the photos, I found this to be really progressive for me. I never do street photography with a 16 slash 24mm in terms of crop to full frame. Yep, the guy who does street photography videos doesn't use a 24 millimeter for street photography. Then if you pair these photos with me photographing people and moving and telling that story, it gave so much context. It was really, really, really nice. In terms of vlogging, I found it to be very shaky and that's because it's so light. It's a tiny setup. So throughout the video, you're probably gonna see me trying to adjust and make sure that, you know, I keep this thing steady as possible. Once I kind of get like a gorilla pod or something, then everything will be fine. If I'm sitting down, however, it's absolutely fine. It's when you're walking and you have a heavy bag, you start to get those micro jitters, which really ruin the vlog experience, to be honest. Right now, I just bumped into my old schoolmate, Curtis. Hello. How you doing, man? <laughs> so I just thought, why not have someone else in the frame to see how vlogging actually works? And you're okay with this, yeah? Yeah. You don't mind, like, you're not uncomfortable by it? Does it look intimidating to you? No. Cool, man. Look at this in my 750, you know. Yeah, you have, like, the big Nikon, right? Yeah. Nikon, Nikon. What's the right way? How do you say it? Do you say Nikon or Nikon? I say Nikon. I think that's a British thing. Yeah, probably. But yeah, how's work then? Yeah, it's been alright. Nice, nice, nice. Bad. Quiet day. Guess what? I hit 1k on YouTube, bro. <laughs> <Good> Anyways, <laughs> I'll leave you to it. I'll let you get home. So thank you very much, man. It's alright. I have to say, taking photos with this lens felt daring sometimes. Trying to focus in on moments and stuff and having to remember that you can't really shoot and narrow in you have to go up to things close was quite daring you know um, I wouldn't do that usually but this lens pushed me to try something new and really get out of my comfort zone and you can see from these photos that I kind of held back a bit I was a very conservative if you will so as you can see obviously Chloe is finally out of work and Thank we're gonna God. right and the sun is finally starting to soften, so... <laughs> I'm out of the office before it's dark. I know, it's crazy, like, welcome to England. Um, I'm hoping we're in frame, because I don't know, but this tally light is quite useful. I think if you're... I think if you're vlogging, I don't know, a rule of thumb I was told is that if you are aligned with, like, the lens, if you feel like the, line, the lens is centered on right. your face, that should be pretty good. No, I know, I know, it's just... I like to have both of us in frame and I thought that's why okay, so then the then 24 was quite good, you know? Yeah, then aim for the center of the lens to hit like the side of your face right here. Hit my face. Oh, now it's now it's on me. I'm gonna hit your bloody face. Joking, I would never do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the light is finally getting soft, so hopefully I can test it out. Uh, I want to really test out at 
Because people have been complaining that it's soft at 2.8, you know? Yeah. Well, you don't know. I'm the one who's like geeking out and like gear so you're just like... Check. How's it looking on your end? Looking, looking good. Looking good, yeah? yeah. Classic chrome, everything's looking sh gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> So, it's gone super cold, and that's what happens when you live in the UK. It seems like it's gonna be absolutely fine, and then you step outside, and it's like, what happened? Don't do it, man. Just finish shopping, I'll make some guacamole, and probably edit these photos and go to bed. But and finally, tea. and tea, lots of lots of gingers and honey tea. Hopefully. The nighttime vlog looks good. I realized looking at the footage that it was a bit shaky in the beginning, you know? It was a bit, it's a bit, we're off to a shaky start, but hopefully now should be better, I hope. I'll try and be a bit more stable. Waiting for that switch pod to come through, bruv. Get that switch prod. Prod? Switch pod. <laughs> switch prod. Anyway, back to the studio. Hope you like what you see with the 16 millimeter in it. Overall, I love this lens. I think I will definitely use it in my workflow. I needed a lens for my interior photography anyway because switching to Fuji, I didn't have a dedicated wide angle lens. So for vlogging and on the go, it's gonna fit in my pocket. And I think what will really make my overall work into a, to a better level will be pairing it with a 35 mil, which is equivalent to 50, or taking that 56 millimeter, having these two lenses and my ammunition, like trying to do video with these two lenses is gonna be super cool. and. Maybe something I'll do in the next video. Let me know if that's what you want to see. Pairing two lenses, to, two prime lenses together and what the outcome will be. Overall, I'm very pleased. Let me know what you think because I literally just bought it from the shop and went for a walk. And this is what you see in the video. Me taking the lens, going for a walk. If you like what you see, check out my Instagram. Check out everything on this bloody channel. Give feedback. Let me know what you, what you found interesting, what I should improve on. Thank you for joining me on my journey. This is what the channel's all about. And I will see you bloody next week with Cheeky Chicken.